Tragically, in our world, the headlines about Islam are dominated by ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Hamas, and Hezbollah. It is these terrorists that dominate the coverage on our news and television networks. Lost in the shuffle are people like Imin Hassan Shalgumi, the Iman of the Drancy Mosque, who told me last night at dinner something that I did not know, that right after the Charlie Hebdo attack, a group of jihadist followers with rifles went to his home and opened fire. Fortunately, no one was killed or hurt. It was not the first time that this happened in the attempts of his life. And by the way, for those who don't know in the audience, as soon as he arrived at LAX, he's under constant 24-hour guard by the LAPD. The recent terrorist attacks by Islamic extremists in Paris in 2015, as well as in nearby Brussels in March 2016, have led to a debate throughout Western Europe about the root causes of the violence and how to combat it. Many insist that if the problem is going to be solved, action needs to come from within the Muslim community. But the question then arises, where are the Muslim leaders willing to stand up and challenge the extremists in their midst. In the Parisian suburb of Drancy, which became infamous as the site where tens of thousands of French Jews were interned by the Nazis and their Vichy French collaborators before being sent off to Auschwitz and other death camps, a voice of reason has emerged. Hassan Shalgoumi, the Imam of Drancy, has become an outspoken figure in the French Muslim community. The Imam came to France from his native Tunisia in 1996 and is the spiritual leader of the Drancy Mosque, located in one of the country's largest Muslim communities. The Drancy was the site of the notorious railway camp where thousands of French Jews were deported during the Holocaust is not a coincidence to the Imam. For him, it became a divine call to teach French Muslims about the Holocaust. At a 2006 ceremony at the Drancy Holocaust Memorial, the Imam emotionally proclaimed what the Nazis did at the time to the Jews, they could have done as well to Muslims. In a visit to Israel in 2012, Imam Shalgumi made a pilgrimage to Yad Vashem and then prayed at the graves of the victims murdered by a French-Algerian Muslim terrorist in Toulouse. The founder of the Conference of Imams of France, he returned to Israel with 17 fellow Imams in a historic visit to the Jewish state. For his very public efforts to bring Muslims and Jews together in France, Imam Shalgumi has been called a, quote, puppet of the Jewish community and, quote, the Imam of the Jews by his critics. He's been attacked on the street and his home has been vandalized, but criticism and physical threats have left him undeterred. In 2010, he published Pour l'Islam de France for the Islam of France, where he advocates for a more tolerant Islam, one that is more open to the French ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity. Speaking to a leading French newspaper, the Imam said, I want Islam to find its place in France because I see anti-Muslim racism mounting on the one hand and Muslim radicalization on the other. The attacks at the Charlie Hebdo offices and the hyper kosher kosher market in Paris in January 2015, followed in November by the attack at the Bataclan Theater, horrified the world and also generated tremendous anger against French Muslims. Imam Shalgumi was quick to denounce the terrorists, stating, these men are criminals, barbarians, satans. For me, they are not Muslims. The Imam then joined Muslim and Jewish leaders outside of the Bataclan Theater, where 130 people were killed and scores more wounded by ISIS-inspired terrorists. 
The interfaith group prayed together and then sang the French national anthem, La Marseillaise. It was an intense experience, recalled Imam Shalgumi, because we were all together praying for them, praying for Paris and everything it represents. This is what we did and will continue to do, to come together and not be torn apart, to talk and not to clash, to educate and not to ignore. ISIS has now put a fatwa on Imam Shalgumi's life for his outspoken stand against extremism. Despite this, he continues to stand his ground. We cannot raise our hands and surrender, he explains. We have to continue to work. In the end, this violent minority will not have the final word. I will continue to struggle actively against racism and extremism. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Iman Hassan Shalagumi. It is an honor to present to you the Simon Wiesenthal Center's Medal of Valor. Bonsoir. Mesdames et Messieurs, chers amis, merci d'être présents. Je tiens à saluer mon ami Shimon Samuel pour son engagement et son soutien, ainsi que le Simon Western Centre et mon cher Rabbin Ayer qui me fait l'honneur de me remettre la médaille de courage. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, thank you. Thank you to the Simon Wiesenthal Center and Rabbi Haya, who in, is honoring me with its Medal of Valor. This soir is very particular for me. My combat is the one of the life of each instant. It's first the one of a man who believes in humanity. It's also the one of an imam supported by the love of Islam, convinced that anti-Semitism, racism, extremism have no right to be cited. C'est le combat au nom de l'islam des lumières qui porte en lui-même l'amour, le respect de l'autre et des droits de l'homme. Tonight is very special for me. My combat is the core of my life, of every instant. It is above all that of a man who believes in humanity, but also that of an imam devoted to Islam, convinced that anti-Semitism, racism and extremism have no rightful place in society. Je le mène au risque de ma vie, menacé par des barbares qui voient l'islam, en tant qu'imam de Drancy, à partir d'où 90% des Juifs de France ont été déportés vers les camps nazis. Je me dois d'œuvrer pour qu'une telle horreur ne se reproduise jamais. I assume this combat at the risk of my life, threatened by barbarians who are leading Islam astray. As imam of Drancy, from whence 90% of the Jews of France were deported to the Nazi camps, I must strive so that such horror never be repeated. Tout au long de ces années, ma femme et mes enfants, ils ont dû faire de nombreux sacrifices. Et c'est à eux que je pense ce soir. Cette médaille de courage, c'est aussi la leur. Over the years, my wife and children have had to make numerous sacrifices. And it is of them I think this evening this Medal of Valor is also theirs. Mesdames et Messieurs, j'aimerais vous remercier à nouveau et donner un exemple Jérusalem de nos jours où je peux visiter librement la mosquée d'Al-Aqsa des musulmans, l'église de Saint-Sépulcre des chrétiens et le cotel des juifs. Jérusalem restera toujours le berceau de monothéistes et merci à Dieu d'avoir autant liberté chacun, le droit de prier. Salam, shalom. Ladies and gentlemen, let me thank you once more. 
and give you an example of Jerusalem, of our times where I have been free to visit the Al-Aqsa Mosque of the Muslims, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre of the Christians, and the Kotel of the Jews. Jerusalem will forever remain the cradle of monotheism, and please God, in our days, all will have the right to worship freely. Salam, shalom.